Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me at Google I.O. 23. I'm Matthew Isaac, product lead for the Google Workspace platform. I'm excited to be talking to you on how to extend Workspace using apps, APIs, and workflows. There's a lot to share about the platform. And today, I'll split that discussion into three topics. First, I'll share with you the overall vision and approach we are taking to building Workspace as a platform for developers and end users. Next, we'll walk through the latest announcements and platform updates. Finally, I'll let you know how you can get started using the Workspace platform. So let's jump right into our first topic, a broad look at the Workspace platform. We're focused on addressing the challenges facing our users, businesses and organizations around the world, and billions of consumer users. Shifts to hybrid work have altered businesses. Collaboration and processes have moved to the cloud. Workspace is critical to help millions of businesses get work done in this new way of working. Workspace's collaboration tools and communications apps have become central to how these businesses and billions of Workspace users create, build, and grow together. That said, we know most organizations require more than just Workspace to get your jobs done. The average number of apps deployed across organizations has risen steadily across all industries and company sizes for an average total of 89 apps representing growth of 24% since 2016, according to Okta's Business at Work report. For any size organization, that's a lot of apps. And these apps come with challenges. Overloading users, losing time switching between apps, copy-pasting information back and forth, or just trying to find the right one. To help address this situation, the Workspace team is building a platform where you can bring your apps, data, and business processes into one place making Google Workspace a primary hub for connecting and getting work done. Workspace is where users spend their days communicating and collaborating with their colleagues, so it makes sense to bring more processes and apps into that hub of work. The platform allows developers and IT professionals to bring their cloud services, their decision-making data, and applications right where users need them to get the most value from these tools. Workspace's cloud-first origins can provide an advantage for developers when you integrate. Build something once and have it work across desktop and mobile, just like Gmail, Google Chat, and Docs. Our open platform offers developers the ability to integrate the apps and solutions they build right into Workspace, or connect our extensible platform into the products they create. With a set of APIs and SDKs, we ensure developers can integrate with Workspace to meet the needs of our joint end users and customers. We care about supporting a growing ecosystem of apps and add-ons. Some of these apps are built by small independent developers and shared with the world through the Google Workspace Marketplace. Others are from large ISVs that are choosing to integrate into Workspace to make their product available right in the flow of users' work. As this ecosystem grows, we see a flywheel benefit for our end users. Using the combination of integrated apps and add-ons in Workspace apps, users unlock new workflows that can make it fast and easy to get things done. They can unlock new opportunities to be creative and collaborate, leading to better outcomes. Could lead to better responsiveness with customers, helping you close the deal. With the recent advancements in generative AI, these same integration capabilities and our expanding ecosystem are opening new and exciting ways to make apps that can help boost productivity and help users create and collaborate in new ways. To help you create apps for and integrations with Workspace, we have a range of tools that can allow anyone to build useful solutions. AppSheet, Google's no-code app and workflow builder, helps users without coding experience build useful solutions using a simple user interface, empowering workspace end users. We'll be sharing some announcements today about how we're making app creation even easier. Next, those with a bit more coding experience can use AppScript, our low-code offering. Similar to JavaScript, developers can build quickly and easily without needing their own cloud environments or having to configure access to Workspace, accelerating time to a deployed solution. We've made further enhancements to AppScript to make development easier. Finally, for our professional developers, we have new tools to help you discover and manage your Workspace APIs. Let me give you an idea of the opportunity. There are 3 billion current users and over 9 million paying businesses depending on Google Workspace ranging from sole proprietorships like your accountant or the owner of the corner store to large companies in industries ranging from aerospace to financial services. 
The result is over 5 billion app installs to date from our marketplace for apps created by developers in the ecosystem, both large and small. As I mentioned earlier, we have thousands of partner apps available in the Google Workspace Marketplace. We partner with leading productivity companies such as Asana, Miro, and Atlassian to integrate the tools you already use into Workspace. Now that we've covered the background, let's jump into what's new, starting with Workspace add-ons. Workspace add-ons was the first integration framework for Workspace that opened up Gmail, Docs, Sheets, and Slides to developers like you. Add-ons give developers the ability to build deep app integrations into all the above and more. Add-ons help developers create productive and collaborative experiences, allowing users to be engaged with two applications at the same time on the same screen. And we continue to innovate and invest into more ways developers can integrate and extend Google Workspace. We expanded the add-on framework to enable our independent software vendors and solution developers to further integrate into Google Docs. And I'm pleased to announce that third-party smart chips are now generally available to developers and users. With third-party smart chips, developers integrate data sources like tasks, customer records, dashboards, and more into Google Docs. Smart chips help users get a quick preview to all information that links to a data source in many of their favorite applications. And we are also pleased to announce some amazing partners already building smart chips, like the example here showing a preview of a Tableau visualization. Next, let's see what's new with Google Chat. Google Chat is not only an effective communication tool, it's also a powerful ally in workflows. Integrate with Google Chat to create a user experience that is interactive, inline, and contextual. And we are continuously improving Google Chat to make it more powerful and easier to develop for. Our Chat REST APIs is currently in preview, and we plan to have it generally available to developers by summer. Developers and app makers can use the Chat API to create chat apps and automated workflows to send alerts, create spaces, and share critical data right in the flow of the conversation. The Chat API can also be used to enable interoperability between different messaging systems to help ensure your users always have the latest information. For example, your support team using a CRM tool can collaborate with users in Google Chat that have opened a ticket and requested help. Both your support teams and end users are able to stay in the preferred messaging tool and collaborate together in real time. To help developers and designers create engaging experiences, we developed the Workspace UIKit. I'm pleased to announce new updates to UIKit enabling you to build even better experiences in chat. As a couple examples, we have support for a new date and time picker widget and a new two column layout available to help you optimize space and organize information. Moving on to Google Meet, we have a few updates to share with you today. With the Google Meet live sharing SDK, developers can build shared experiences across apps on mobile and web. Synchronize media content, and enable shared controls for all participants, creating a rich collective experience for your users. Today, we are happy to announce live sharing SDK support for iOS and web, both in preview. In addition, the Android support that is currently in preview will be generally available by the end of Q3. And a big thanks to our early access program partners for collaborating with us throughout the development of this feature. Now in preview, the Google Meet Add-ons SDK enables developers to integrate their app experience into Meet to help boost user acquisition and engagement. Choose between the main stage or the side panel to find the best fit for your app's content. And deliver a rich and engaging experience for your users by combining your interactive application while leveraging the power of video conferencing from Google Meet. We are also pleased to announce some amazing partners already building with Meet Add-ons. Another addition to Preview the Google Meet APIs allows developers to easily add the power of Google Meet to their applications by offering the ability to start video calls right from their apps. Start, link out to, and programmatically configure Meet for your users. And the Meet Events API notifies upon events such as users joining or leaving or the readiness of meeting artifacts. With so many new Meet extensibility platform features in preview, we know you'll want to get working with these APIs as soon as you can. And at the end of this session, we'll show you how to join the developer preview program to get access. Now let's see what's new with Google Calendar. We added working location to Google Calendar a while back and received lots of interest from customers and developers for the feature to be available via API. Today, we are pleased to announce that Calendar API working location is available in preview. With the API, 
Developers can synchronize with third-party tools like desk booking applications or resource management tools for work. Surface working location information and other tools to coordinate in-office days or plan meetings with colleagues who are on location with you. There are a variety of ways to use the new work location data. We're not just building for individual products, but also improving how you work with APIs across Workspace. We're investing in tools to help you discover and manage the Google Workspace API. We recently created a unified Workspace API dashboard in the Google Cloud Console, providing a single central location to manage and view metrics, credentials, quotas, and more. Further, to help with learning about and trying Workspace APIs, we built the helpful Workspace API Explorer. It's a place where developers can browse and discover APIs, make real-time API requests, see API responses, and create code samples, all from a browser. We invite you to try them out. We covered many useful APIs for professional developers. So now, let's see what's new in no-code and low-code. In addition to serving professional developers, we also have tools available for workspace users that are less technical, but are still looking for solutions to help build apps and automate workflows. We empower these folks with AppSheet, Google's no-code platform to build apps for workspace. We've enhanced AppSheet in a number of ways to make it even easier to build and publish workspace apps. Starting with no-code chat apps becoming generally available, quickly create chat, Google chat apps in AppSheet, and just as importantly, publish them to your team or company with a click. We're launching AppSheet databases, a native collaborative structure to power your apps with easy to organize data in a familiar interface. And finally, artificial intelligence powered app creation is coming to developer preview. Leverage generative AI and go from idea to an app in minutes. All starting with describing your app in natural language within AppSheet. We look forward to seeing how AI helps you innovate, enables developers to build solutions quickly, and ultimately focus on the most impactful creative work. AppScript is Workspace's low-code platform. There's nothing to install or configure. It all runs in the cloud. It is based on the popular language JavaScript and offers its own IDE built right into Workspace and is available to everyone. The type of solutions can range from simple to sophisticated, from a custom function in Google Sheets to a complex add-on that uses multiple Google and third-party services. AppScript is highly flexible in customizing Workspace. So I'm pleased to announce the latest updates to AppScript. Project history, also known as version control, is now in preview. This feature allows scriptwriters to track and manage changes to a script, including CPAS versions and the changes between versions. Also in preview, admins can now allow list URLs per domain to provide safer access controls and manage where data can be sent externally. And finally, this isn't new, but we wanted to remind the community that AppScript now supports the V8 runtime that powers Chrome and Node.js. If you still have legacy scripts on the old Rhino runtime, now is the time to migrate them to V8. No matter how you built your app or integration, it will get distributed in the Google Workspace Marketplace. We've continued investing in the Workspace Marketplace, making it easier for you to discover, distribute, and manage both third-party apps and custom internally built apps. We are happy to announce a new intelligence category for Marketplace. Intelligent Apps is now available on Workspace Marketplace. Spotlighting the AI-enabled apps helps everyone discover tools to help you work smarter and be more productive. With over 5,200 apps available, the Marketplace makes it easy for developers to distribute their Workspace integrations and for our customers to enhance their workflows with market-tested apps. For developers, Workspace helps you build, connect, and grow. Build tight integrations, customize your workflows, and use our APIs for a smooth user experience. Accelerate development and efficiency by connecting your DevOps tools to Workspace. Increase growth and engagement by partnering with Google to reach billions of end users and millions of paying businesses. With that, we need to wrap up today's session, but I wanna leave you with some information on how to get started with the Google Workspace platform. I know we covered a lot today, but we really just touched the surface of what you can do with Workspace. On screen, you see we have a number of great resources to get started. Visit the developer docs to access examples, code labs, and quick starts to get ramped up quickly. For the preview features we announced, get access by joining the developer preview program and stay in the loop when new features roll out. 
Finally, join our engaging community to enrich your journey. Thank you again for attending today's session, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the programming at Google I.O. 23.